Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Anakin Skywalker from the Target exclusive Battle of Christophsis Battle Pack. That is an absolute mouthful, um, but this is a, a pretty cool figure, so it's worth it. Excuse me. Um, if you'd like to see the packaging for this guy, go ahead and check out the ATAP review. Um, I just had to back the camera way up there, and it's too it, the, the box is too large to just do it in every review. Um, so if you want to see that, go ahead and check out that video. As far as this figure goes, he stands, let's see, about three and three quarter inches tall. So he's right in scale with all of your other Star Wars figures. And uh, he does come with two accessories here. The first one, of course, is his lightsaber. And if it'll focus here, there we go. It's fairly well done. It's not the most detailed, but the blade is nice and translucent and, um, you know, it works for what it does, you know. Um, he His other accessory um, is really stupid, <laughs> if I, I'll, I'll be honest. It's this force blaster thing. Um, I'm just really glad that they made it removable because it totally kills the look of the figure. As you can see here, it clips on. Let's see. If I can do it on camera here. Well, there goes the missile. <laughs> uh, you can, well, I'm not even gonna bother to be honest. It's it's so dumb. It clips onto the outside of his arm and is big and stupid. Um, and it's kind of a waste of plastic. But it does have a swivel here. And I guess if you're like a little kid, this could be fun, I suppose. The force blaster, the force missile blaster effect thing is translucent blue and it, it's well done um, again it's just kind of stupid um, as far as the figure itself goes though um, I think they did a very nice job of capturing the Clone Wars style for Anakin here he's got a um, ball peg in the head which gives him a nice range of motion ball hinge shoulders which tuck up underneath his shoulder pad here to hide the articulation which is really well done he's got Let's see, hinged elbows with a swivel, which give him, you know, more than enough range of motion. And then swivel wrists. On this side, it's just above the glove. And on this side, it's just above his glove, but they are sculpted differently, um, obviously. Um, he's got a swivel waist here, swivel hips, and then that's it. Um, that's one problem that I have with this figure is the articulation stops at the hips. Uh, I think it would have been fairly easy for them to articulate it, um, so I don't know why they cheaped out and didn't. Um, it, it's not terrible, obviously. The upper body is fairly articulated, um, but you're not going to get this guy into any crazy action poses. Although, like I said, he is sculpted well, so he'll look good standing on a shelf. Um, but yeah, it, it, this was obviously meant more for kids than it was for collectors. Um, so it's not, like I said, not a huge deal. Um, not the best figure, not the worst. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a passable version of uh, Anakin uh, Skywalker from the Clone Wars. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.